Hi guys! Welcome to my channel. I'm Angela. Happy New Year's family. Happy New Year's. I hope you guys had a great holiday with your family and with your friends and I hope uh, everybody brought in the New Year safely and um, I'm just believing in, you know, just prosperity in this new year and uh, God to move and shift in a mighty, mighty way. Guys, I have a word that uh, God has given me to bring forth uh, today and I'm excited to deliver it. And as always, I tell you to take the word back to God in prayer for confirmation and revelation on the word. You know what I say on this channel, the most important thing amongst anything else is your own intimate relationship with God. I'm going to continue to stress that. That's more important than the prophecy. You need to have your own intimate relationship with God. He desires that and I encourage it, okay? So always take any word I give you or anyone else give you back to God in prayer for confirmation. Uh, it should actually be confirmation of what God has already spoke to you if you are staying in his presence, okay? So guys, I am ready to get into the first word of the year. Um, God is really has been really speaking to me about uh, last year being a year that was a year that we've sown um, sown seeds in our work and and also being faithful and just being obedient to Him and last year in 2022 that was a year that uh, God was working and preparing us uh, on the inside out it was an external and internal changes that needed to happen uh, in la you know for 2022 but uh, God was really speaking and I'm excited about it where 2023 is going to be a year of manifestation it's going to be a year where he's going to do amazing miracles and just abundance coming into our lives. And I've already said, you know, in pre previous times that this is a new year, not just a new year, but new chapters, new beginnings for many of us. And that's going to come with a lot of things. It's going to come with a lot of abundance and prosperity because this is a year of manifestation, but it's also going to come with us putting in the work. Uh, like I said, I think in the last video, God was saying, yeah, you know, this is a year that I'm going to do some great things at 23, but you're going to have to put in the work as well. You're going to have to do your part. You're going to have to keep moving and going. And as God releases those blessings, releases those things to you, uh, not to get comfortable in it, but keep moving forward, keep being faithful, keep doing the work of God, keep progressing. Uh, this, you know, it's going to be a great year, but it's also going to be a year that we're, we are going to have to put in, you and I put in hard work and really get to do, you know, get to doing what God has called us to do. So as much as he's going to be faithful to us and, and bring those blessings forth and those new things forth, he's also requiring new things from us. He's also requiring time. He's also requiring our patience, patience to wait upon it, you know, uh, some, you know, just because you did not see it in 2022, 20, uh, don't get discouraged. You know, I did get a lot of, um, a lot of, uh, email testimonies. So some people did get to see that, you know, things break their breakthrough in 2022. So don't get discouraged. God is still working and God is still moving. And as long, you know, and he still sits on the throne and he's going to continue to do whatever God promised. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. He, he's not a God that shall lie. He's not a man that shall lie. So just know that God is going to do what he promised that what he's going to do. Okay. But get excited. Uh, he was just speaking about manifestation and um, speaking about manifestation and speaking about uh, restoration. And God is going to restore some things that was lost. Uh, he's going to restore some relationships. He was speaking about that. So don't give up on 
just because you didn't see it uh, physically, God is still working spiritually on your behalf. So still get excited. This is going to be a year, guys, of so many, so many blessings and manifestations that are going to come to pass. And God is still going to do those things. And he's still going to blow your mind in this new year, in this new chapter, in this new beginning. So just remain uh, faithful. Just remain hopeful and stand in belief and expectancy. But something else uh, God was speaking has been was speaking about as well with this word is swiftly. God keeps saying swiftly. You're going to see this thing happen swiftly. You're going to see it happen unexpectedly. You're not going to look. It's going to happen at the most unexpected time and unexpected way he's gonna he's gonna bring it to you differently he's gonna bring it to you in an unexpected way and an unexpected time so he did speak of that and bringing it swiftly it's going to happen he's bringing these things to manifest itself swiftly so just stay prayerful stay vigilant stay in the presence of god uh like i said this year is a year of work but it's also a, a year where god is saying we're going to need to stay in his presence like never before uh i have a word that is coming um that i'm going to be delivering of some things that god was speaking about for this year but you know no matter what we go through no matter what uh is coming um God is still God. <laughs> you know, I always say recession, depression, it doesn't matter. God still sits on the thrones. God is still going to provide even through the toughest times, but it's for us to stay focused on him. It's for us to stay in his presence. And I know sometimes, you know, it gets, we get busy. Sometimes we get sidetracked, but God is saying, you know, let's really back in. Let's get back in his presence and, you know, get back um and, and just in his presence and spending time with them hearing from him back into your word back into fasting but get back into his presence and you know god, god has been speaking about that a lot because we're going to need god we're going to need that word for strength we're going to need to hear god's word word for guidance but also for strength to get through some things that um in the world that we need to get through okay but god is going to do some amazing things he's going to do some this is a year guys of manifestation but god is stating that he's going to do it quickly it's going to happen very quickly swiftly is the word uh that god gave me swiftly he's shifting things uh quickly he's ushering in the new quickly also you're going to have to remember that this is a year, and I've said it so many times, God has been stressing and he's still speaking about letting go of things. Guys, you cannot track, uh, you cannot track baggage into your new season. You're going to have to pack light. You cannot bring old hurt, pain, you know, heaviness, old baggage into this new year, into this new season, because you won't allow God to do what he, he needs to do. You don't give him room. You don't give him an opportunity to show up and be God and show, show out in your life because you're holding on to things. So God is saying, pack light, pack light, let go of any baggage from 2022 let go of that baggage and allow God to usher in the new thing and I know some things that we have to let go and I've said it before in, in my life it hurt it's relationships it's friendships but you have to do it in order for God to use you the way that he wants to use you and to do the things that he wants to do he wants to work in our lives internally and externally and bless us inside and out but we have to let go of baggage we have to pack light god is ne uh, guys is necessary in this season okay so um yeah bear with me guys i don't feel my best today so <laughs> uh but i i'm pushing here um but just just uh just keep going okay keep going 
keep pushing um, and keep staying in God's presence and staying in the word. You're going to need that for strength. You're going to need it for guidance. You're going to need it for things that are approaching uh, that God has been warning us about. But those things that, you know, that you sow, that obedience, your faithfulness, your work, it's going to pay off in the season. This is manifestation season, guys. This is a season of blessing and it's going to happen quickly in some of you guys' life. You know what season you are in you know what season uh, God has you in I always tell you you know your season every word is not for every person because the season is not for everybody some people are in different seasons so you know what season you are in but get excited guys God is about to who this word is for Get excited. God is about to do some amazing things. And I wanted to read, uh, he gave me Isaiah 43, 18. <clears throat> Reading from um, the NLT version. <clears throat> it says, uh, but forget all that. It is nothing compared to what I am about to do. For I am about to do something new. See, I have already begun. Do you not see it? Do you not perceive it? <laughs> I will make a pathway through the wilderness. I will create rivers in the dry wasteland. Guys, do you not perceive it? You know, I feel it. I feel the shift. I feel what God is doing. And in this shift, some amazing things are going to happen. But you got to be in position. You got to continue to wait with belief and faith and hope. And uh, just continue to stay in his presence. Continue to do what you're doing. Now, when you get your blessing now, <laughs> when you get your blessing you keep being faithful and you keep being grateful, okay? And you keep doing the work of God. Don't forget God when he does what he does, because what he does for you, because he didn't forget you, okay? So guys, that is the word today. Um, I'm sorry if I'm moving in a little slow motion today, uh, but thank you uh, for just being here listening to the word thank you guys for returning in this new year to the channel i so love and appreciate you guys i really really do uh, with all of my heart and everything in me i am so grateful and uh guys you know we rocked together in 2022 and we're gonna rock together in 23 uh all of 23 god willing okay so you know what I'm going to say, keep shining and being kind to each other. Keep loving on each other. And, um, you know, let's just keep being kind and keep walking in unity. Keep walking in love and being kind. And don't allow this world to harden your heart. Don't allow this world to divide us. Keep walking in unity and keep, you know, showing love. You are the light. Keep shining and being kind, all right? God loves you unconditionally, and I love you. And I will see you guys next time, God willing, all right? Have a good one, guys, and we're going to have a good 23, all right? I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.